Hi everyone and welcome back to the Ravenstown subdivision. This is going to be, unfortunately, the last update to this layout um, as uh, this layout will be torn down here in the next month. We're going to be moving to a new house, which means new layout. And uh, so we're going to give you an overview of basically the final status of this, where everything is, what all of there is, highlight in on some details, and uh, go from there. We're going to do a very quick, broad overview of the layout, and then we'll go in into some details. This is what would be considered the west end of the layout. Engine sheds, turntable, some other things moving into what would be the downtown area. Back around to the industrial area, and then into some more industries. Focusing on the locomotive area, you can see that we have sheds for quite a few locomotives. And we have some sitting out along with the maintenance way train sitting here. We also have this nice uh, little shed for the maintenance people. Um, that is lighted as well. Pick that up for basically free. We have this camping scene here. Cabin to camp with. Signals. People fishing in the river that will probably stay on the new way out. The river is kind of clean up. We even have deer up here in the mountains, which looks that kind of neat. Have a small scale tribute train to the Civil War. Kind of see that a little bit. Road vehicles, a bunch of these. these are, some of these are kits. There is this refreshment stand, which I really like. I'm really happy with how that came out. Being a Pepsi fan and having a Pepsi plant here in town, that looks out even better. Onto a local depot with a playground, gazebo, and of course, wouldn't be winter time here without getting the snow pot ready. Moving over from the locomotive areas, you can see we have kind of a diesel tank here, some city vehicles, DOT orange. It's a background building that's a part of a green facility. We're going to incorporate that into more in the new layout. And of course, open farm field and the UFO trying to abduct a cow and the farmer not allowing it. This is a Menards building. So we're gonna move into the front part of downtown here. You can see we have working crossing gates. Those do actually work. They have track sensors. Um, these are currently on because I have a train parked down the line here. Um, quite a few downtown buildings. You can see the uh, police cars here. This first one, it's really fancy. This is from East Coast Circuits. Highly recommend checking out all their products. They do a really nice job. This came out really nice. You'll see this in the night shots later too. This one is my own with my own circuit that I bought. Not as fancy, obviously, but decent. The movie theater. This is from Miller Engineering. The sign is at least. And that's a really nice sign. It has, um, I don't remember how many different flashing patterns that you can set up to it, but it's a lot. Moving into some more buildings. Some vehicles in downtown here are 3D printed, like that car, um, and there will be more here in the future. We have, of course, a Taylor Swift Reputation Stadium Tour billboard on top of the car dealership that specializes in fancy or classic cars. Moving through, we have working traffic lights here, which you can see. And these are on a timer, just like this. works out pretty nice. Those came off eBay. I'm kind of moving through the rest of downtown there. We have a hardware shop and of course being Joe I found this at an antique store. Couldn't pass that up. Coming to the left of downtown and the street running we actually have working detectors right here in the tracks. This is from Train Boss or Hobby Boss same company. Boulder Creek Engineering is what it is. Um, it's actually tied to the circuit board you see right here. Works really nice, really programmable with whatever you want. What we'll do is we'll bring the uh, 
part of the passenger train over here so you can listen and see how it works. I also want to show you the passenger train. This has been a long-term project of mine. So you have the Chicago Northwestern A unit here. A and B units are both Walther's main line. They sound very nice. The uh, gyro light on the front is really nice. And then these are all Riverosa cars. Almost all of these have four and two years to them, but not quite. You can see here, there are people tables this is half dining or half combo car most of the interiors for these there's only a couple that were kits um, the observation car here being one that was kits but I painted them out of people otherwise uh, a lot of these I've designed and 3d printed myself including this dining car right here with a kitchen if we keep on moving we have a sleeper and we finally have this end observation car if you're curious and wanting any of the 3D designs for this interior, please let me know. Another thing you might have noticed is that we do have signals on the layout. These are manual signals, they're not automatic. I have to actually physically flip a switch for them in order to get them to light up to what I want. But it's a nice touch, especially for doing train operations. You can control in and out of who's doing what and moving what. There's One's down there, obviously, there's basically ones protecting some different blocks or sections of the track. And you'll even notice a couple here, too, that are controlled opposite of each other, which is pretty neat. One of the newest additions to the layout is this Walther's mainline SD70 ACE locomotive. This sounds very nice, has very good sound. Did some reprogramming to the volumes in the horn to make it sound a little more real. All a good mix. There will be some run by clips thrown in, I'm sure, of this and other things that we have. So beyond the front downtown here is a back continuation of the city. I want to focus on the depot quick. This is the depot that I built. This was a kit. Um, those are all LED lights and old style fixtures um, that you see above the doors. And then the platform with people. Those are also lighted as well. You'll see that at night. Uh, all the people are hand painted. Almost all of those people are on the whole layout, I should say, are hand painted by me. Also, we have this working semaphore that is lighted. You'll see that a little bit better at night as well. Um, I can move that manually and uh, change that to red, yellow, and green. Behind that, we have more. Um, you can see some different vehicles. We have a police station. 
the two interiors right here, these two offices are 3D printed. The furniture that is 3D printed and then just painted. There's also a uh, actual jail in the back. I will uh, get around there and show you a video of that here in a second. This is a Menards building, the Country Suites Hotel, which is pretty nice. It's a nice touch to have in the layout. Come in here to the strip mall with Dollar Store, Whirlpool, all sorts of fun stuff in it, and a candy shop. And also brand new to the layout, if you circle around here, is you have a Menards Hobby Shop. And that's pretty much it for the downtown area. This is the back of the jail. You can see the windows are barred right there. But actually, if you look in, there's jail cells with people, beds, etc. And those are the two rooms that were through the printed. Better view of the rooftop patio of the hotel. Some nice details. And then coming over here, better view of the hobby shop. While we're back here, coming over here is the industrial area. This is going to be, or was going to be, mostly a power plant, kind of starting to turn it into ethanol. So we have power substation here. We have a working windmill here. You can see a couple fire engines. Menards Power and Light building. Backup generator. We also have another generator in that building. If you zoom out a little bit, this is what the whole structure looks like. You can see some LED lights. Added all of the lighting, a couple oil tanks, and then there's the fume evaporation center off to the side. Pull back here and go around. You can even see that this side is weathered and lighted as well for full access. All right, we're just over there, so we're gonna come back this way and start focusing on what we have over here. First up, these are the locomotive shops. Have some of the same older style lamps right there. You can kind of see them through the windows, see locomotives in there, but we'll actually lift that off here in a second. Another rip track, another shed. You can have some repairs. This is also a Menards building. This single stall shed right here. A little bit better view from the inside. This has a couple cranes in it. Go ahead and lift this up so you can see. There's one. And there's the other one. This is lighted as well for the interior, which I like. I'm happy with how that came out. And also Post the spotlight that shines onto the flag in front of the railroad facility. This is a little factory I picked up at an antique store. Added some lighting to it. Came out pretty decent. More vehicles. Background building that a friend got me. Really appreciate that from him. That's a nice addition right here. Plus having the um, garage doors there for box cars actually works out pretty nice from an operational standpoint. This is the Pepsi plant, also from Menards. Like how that looks. I actually put paint on the light housing so that the light would shine down. You can see that. Coming up here, the railroad yard office. We have water and sand here as well, as well as at the other end of the layout. And we have storage here. Quite a bit of trees, 
and that pretty much takes care of the main stuff. All right, this is nighttime now. Nighttime is achieved with smart lighting and it is kind of bright down here, so it only really works at night. Um, but it works out pretty nice. You can see those smart lights up here and you can see my railroad lanterns. This is what we have. Not everything was lighted. Didn't have time to get to all of that, but you can see lights in the buildings that are important. downtown especially at night looks super new it's a little bit better view of downtown at night just so you can kind of see how it looks really like that police car really bright it's a movie theater moving on from main downtown obviously back here it's a lot brighter due to the newer buildings but we have store and here's the nighttime platform which you can see a little bit better a little more lighted up there and then you can see better into the building right there the UFO at night. All right, coming off of the second downtown here, which is very bright. Back into the industrial area, you can see the light on top of the water tower. That does not flash at a steady rate, and I don't know why, but oh well. Street lights, you can see the Menards Power and Light Building lit up with their signs flashing. There's also flashing lights on top of the transformers in the back. Get a better view of some of the LED lights that have been added to the power plant. This is probably going to turn into more of an ethanol plant in the next layout. View from behind. A couple of the LEDs on the building are different colors, which I kind of like. It adds uh, realism, I think, in my opinion. Um, that was not on purpose. That was not by design. That was actually a mistake. I bought cheap LEDs. And then welcome back over here to the locomotive sheds. You can see there's some nice lighting in there. Happy with how that came out. Decent lighting here. 
probably need to black out all of the walls on this, but that's okay. It's going to be a project for a different day. Over into the Pepsi plant. I also really like how the signals look at night. I think that's a nice touch. Let's see where that is in relation to the Pepsi plant there. There you have it. This is the final update of this layout. I'll throw in some extra videos of some trains running by, different ones that aren't here visibly on the layout. Um, but want to make sure that you go follow the new build. I'm going to be basically video recording it, documenting it, whatever you want to call it, start to finish um, on a new YouTube channel. Joe's Too Fast For You Model Railroad. I will tag it in the description down below. And if I remember, I'll put something in the actual video. But uh, go follow that. We're gonna be putting all our updates over there. Progress of everything, design, building, track layout, run by his normal train stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate your support. Be sure to go follow my new channel for model railroading. And I will see you all soon.